Hello and welcome to another Overlord lore video and today we will take yet another picture from Overlord's upcoming fourth season and take a much closer look at it. But before we are going to do so let's take a closer look at my Patreons for supporting this channel, as well as all users of the YouTube thanks function who made one time donations. Now with that said, this magma creature is not a Gurin, the powerful magma slime that dwells on the seventh floor of Nezuik and is specifically optimized for combat in his very own environment. But nonetheless, this creature is quite similar, for this right here should be the La Angler Lava Lord, and that's where the spoiler warning will begin. So you have been warned, the La Angler Lava Lord can be best described as a mix between a Lavaziot and a Gobul from Monster Hunter. It has the body of a Gobul, of an anglerfish, but the heat resistance of the lava dwelling Lavaziot, and therefore I want to give you a general picture by showing off Monster Hunter monsters on screen. And this creature is actually a fine example that the new world can produce some really strong monsters on their very own, for this creature has roughly the same strength as the central villain, well, from the perspective of the Quagoa and almost any other nation, Eins is the central villain, but anyway, this monster right here, the Lava Lord, is roughly as strong as the Ice Dragon Ola Sirdak Heilel Yal. We also have its difficulty rating, which is a numeric value assigned to warn adventurers about how powerful something is. Basically, everything over 100 is considered impossible even for adamantite ranking adventure teams, and it would take a serious military effort by multiple teams or entire nation to slay the monster in question. And the Lava Lord has a difficulty rating of 140, while the Pleiades, like Shizu Delta for example, are around 150, so basically it should have the same strength as a doppelganger Pleiades which is incredibly powerful by New World standards. But still weak as far as Nezuric is concerned, though again it is stronger than Eins in physical terms, especially when fighting on his own terrain and terms. But as it relies on terrain, aka the fire and the lava, to do most of its work for him, obtaining 100% fire resistance negates its greatest advantage and makes it very vulnerable to any enemies situated on solid ground, where its tentacles can't reach. On the other hand, if the enemy, or rather the prey isn't capable of powerful ranged attacks, or if it doesn't have fire immunity, then the very home of the Lava Lord can serve its lord and kill anyone weaker and foolish enough to enter it. The Lava Lord is over 50 meters long itself, and it has scales harder than Orichalcum, and a tentacle for its angle, with which it pursues far more active hunting styles than just the regular patient ambush predator anglerfish. This might also be the very reason why it swims and travels, rather than just dig in and wait for the prey to come to it. And curiously enough, many many Quagoa have fallen into the lava streams scorching large parts of the underground of the Elysian Mountains. And the mountain region itself is, at least it appears so, in of itself slightly cursed or blessed. All depending on if you want a gigantic river of molten rock floating through the base of a mountain range. The various magma lakes and streams are linked via certain portals and akin to the gate spell. These portals allow the lava to pass and also they provide far greater interconnectivity for the Lava Lord to travel. And they formed from the magic that is in the very world, and thus far it isn't explained if the magic in question is wild magic, tear magic, rune craft or something else entirely. And this is also the very reason why the Lava Lord, who normally makes Mount Rapaslia its home, can travel through the Elysian Mountains largely unhindered, but even if the Lava Lord within the lava stream can't reach you directly, it doesn't mean you're safe, a mere breath 
of the superheated air could scorch your lungs and kill you regardless. Regardless if you stayed too close to the lava lord itself. And once you fall down into the magma stream many hundred meters below, does it matter? Who killed you? No. So we know what this shadow in the lava is, but do we know where it is? And the answer is yes. The domain, or rather region, of where the La Angla lava lot is present, is situated south of the ancient capital city of Feoberkana, which makes traveling to the city a bit more challenging. Although the terrain itself is quite challenging in and of itself. But apparently Heinz is facing the task head on. And what will happen or not in the fourth season? Well, you have to watch it. Because this video right now ends. And with that said, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to Dash 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 Badger Ye Ben C Chrissy Crowley 0221 Sia Death is Mercy Deathless Dragonlord Dystopia Dystopia the Second Thurashivan Guy with that head Hector Marino Hoss Huster Jacob G Jana B Jason Chromius Legendarius Lelouch Ribetania with a mustache Lexus Fox Lord Nishikian Rai Lord Touch Me Merovec Mr. Shoes Mr. Tweaker Michael R Michael Y O'Kill Overlord General Gasper Patty Pantom Per Sonich Primus Eleven Shadow Lightning Wolf Shrine Keeper Texas Deer The Orc Warboss Rock Ed Smasher T.E. Wang The Shark Eye Vegito27 Venture Fanatic Wilhelm and Zonagon. Thanks guys. Anyway, have a nice day and I hope to see you all again soon under my next video.